Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel today. I'm showing the best defending tricks and tips of eFootball 2024. If you are like this video, please subscribe and support. Today I'm going to talk about five tricks. The first is player positioning. The second is double pressing and pressure. The third is player swapping. The fourth is defender position and movement against opposing players. And the last but not least is a stunning shot. Low passes, lofted passes, and crosses alike. You can play all kinds of passes incisively using stunning kicks. To play a penetrative kick in real life, you would have to take a bigger stride. We have also recreated that motion in this installment of the game. This means that the ball will take longer to leave the player's feet when performing a kick whilst in possession, such as when stopping or dribbling at low speed. Main features of the stunning pass is stunning low pass, a pacey pass aimed towards the feet of the receiving teammate. The ball will tend to float for passes of longer distance. Stunning lofted pass, a lower and pacier pass comparing to a normal lofted pass. Stunning chipped through ball, passier than the normal chipped through ball and with a slightly lowered trajectory. Furthermore, the ball will tend to end closer to the receiver's feet than usual. Next one, matchup. When defenders go up against an oncoming dribbler, they will attempt to position themselves adequately between the opposition and the goal. Now, you can make your player do the same in game with matchup. Matchup makes it all the more easier for your player to block oncoming passes and shots, so be sure to utilize this command effectively. And the next one is the call for pressure. A new addition to the game. As a part of this update, Call for Pressure is a command in which the entire team will work in tandem to recover possession. When performing Call for Pressure, you will see a double arrow displayed around the feet of another teammate. On the other hand, players that do not have the arrow displayed around them will also work in tandem to win the ball back. Based on their distance from the ball, they will either position themselves to block passing lanes or push up the defensive line. Next one is the important move, dash and matchup. When defenders go up against an oncoming dribbler, they will attempt to position themselves adequately between the opposition and the goal. Now, you can make your player do the same in game with matchup. Matchup makes it all the more easier for your player to block oncoming passes and shots, so be sure to utilize this command effectively. Please sit back, relax, and watch the entire video for more information. Please subscribe and support if you love these types of videos. Thank you very much, Gaming GRZ. Bye for now, and I'll see you soon in the